Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the first maintenance video with the uh, with the BMW M3 and sadly my elation at uh, buying the UK's cheapest M3 um, has ended because she's broken already um, less than a week into ownership she's thrown a code and she's not happy um, the engine doesn't sound right I suspect there's a misfire um, so uh, yeah, what we need to do is uh, I'm going to grab my Carly adapter. We're going to plug it in, connect the phone to it, and we're going to read off the codes and uh, and see what's up with it. Uh, and then that'll point us in the right direction to uh, to do something about it. So yeah, uh, let's get stuck into it. <laughs> Okay, so got my Carly adapter here. This is a Gen 2 one. Um, there, are, there is a Gen 3 out now uh, for those that are interested, but uh, I'm not going to bother because this one works just fine for me. Um, but yeah, I'm going to plug it in just down here in the OBD port on the A pillar. And then we'll turn on the ignition. Okay, so now what I need to do is open the Carly app. I've got right here and then what I need to do is um, I need to connect my phone to the uh, to the adapter stop binging at me turn the music down um, okay so I need to connect my phone to the Carly adapter um, and then read off the code so what I'll do I'll save you the uh, the wait and I will do all of that bit and then I'll bring it back in and we'll go straight to the code okay so we have codes um, and it's saying misfiring will shut down cylinder 5 and there's the code uh, for you 002B39 there is uh, there's a couple of other codes which all seem to be related to that they all they're all basically saying the same thing misfiring will shut down cylinder 5 so I suspected a misfire anyway because it sounded like a misfire um, now what I would suspect if we've got any misfire is um, a coil has, has failed or a plug um, it's, when it's saying shut down, what that means is it's shutting down the injector to that cylinder. That way, uh, because there's a misfire, you don't get bore wash. Because um, obviously the fuel will will wash the oil from the bores, and that could cause bore scoring. And obviously we don't want that, um, and that's bad. So, yeah, I believe uh, I believe we've got a poor coil. Um, now, as I said in the previous episode, there's a stack of history for this car, and uh, I can see evidence that there was um, three coils replaced. I can't recall off the top of my head how long ago that was, but three of the coils were definitely replaced. Um, sadly, what the technician that did it didn't do was say which cylinders that they were fitted to, which is what I will do with the the invoice that I um, that I will get for the uh, for the replacement coil for this car. So what I need to do now is obviously I need to go to BMW, which is just up the road from me, and uh, pick up a coil. Hopefully they've got one in stock. Okay, before I uh, before I actually head over to BMW and, and spend my hard earned and potentially waste it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to confirm that it is the coil um, beforehand, and I'm going to do that by swapping um, the coil from cylinder five to cylinder six, and then see if the code follows the cylinder. Um, obviously, if we then read the if we, we then read the codes and it says cylinder five shut down, uh, sorry, cylinder six shut down, then we know that um, it is definitely the coil. If not, then we'll have to investigate further. But uh, yeah, so that's that's what I'm gonna do first because coils aren't cheap. They're around 150 pounds from the dealer. And realistically, you want to be getting them from the dealer. You don't wanna go down the cheap eBay route um, because you'll end up buying another one very, very shortly afterwards. So yeah, what I need to do, remove the air box. Um, and uh, yeah, that should give us access to bank two. So bank one's this side, cylinders one to four. Bank two is this side, cylinders five to eight. And obviously cylinder five is at the front here. Um, so yeah, right underneath the airbox. So we'll get the airbox off and then we can, uh, we'll, we'll be able to access the coil. So I'll bring it back in a second once I've got all of this off. Okay, with the airbox out of the way, 
obviously we've got loads of access to bank two now so um obviously the coils live under here and to get this off you just need to give it a good tug and that line needs to come out of the way and pop it out of it there's like there we go there's like little um grom these grommets here engage on these little pegs you just have to overcome them and pull them out and then yeah that's uh, that's good okay so this is coil five now there's something gummy on that i don't know what on earth that is um but that's a bit odd um and this is the one that we're uh, we're suspecting is faulty so what i'm going to do i'm going to take coil five out coil six out swap them around and then uh, see if the code uh, the code follows so to get them out simply a case of disconnecting the wiring to each one now these can be a bit of a pig to remove you can get tools which like hook underneath there but i've actually seen those tools pull this off um this may come out easily or we may need to lever it if we need to lever it then i'll go and grab one in a minute yeah i think we're gonna need to i think i'm gonna have to get a lever underneath it to uh, to get it out so i'll go and yeah yeah i'll go and grab one and then we'll pop both of those out so there we are that's the two coils uh, removed um, all i did was with i found a little bit of scotch bright in the garage and i just levered them up obviously using the scotch bright to protect the top of the valve cover now um what i do want to do quickly is just look at the uh, the two coils that we've removed and if i had to make a uh, educated guess i'd suggest that this is a later version because it looks different um so it's very possible that number six is one of the ones that was replaced as part of the three um detailed in the history um and they do look ever so slightly different um so uh so yeah the um the part number actually ah interestingly enough i've already been on um real oem and looked at the part number and so 75404 uh sorry 1754 that part number is the current part number and i uh, and it did say it was superseded oh sorry that supersedes a previous one and it may well be that that part number there 8388 is the previous part number so this is most likely an original an original coil from when the car was built um and this one has been replaced during its life so what i'm going to do as i said is fit both of these into the other the other cylinder connect them up like so i'll leave the cover off but what we do need to do is i just drop the air box in um just because i don't want um i don't want it to uh complain i don't think it will because uh, there's no sensors in the airbox, but I don't want it to um, have any reason to uh, to throw any other codes. Um, but uh, yeah, what I'll do, I'll put the airbox back in, just put the pipe work over the plenum, and then we'll uh, we'll check for we'll start the engine, see if it um, complains again, and see if the code has shifted to cylinder six. Okay, so as you can see, the fault is still there. It's showing engine fault, full power engine, no longer uh, power no longer available um and it's got the uh, the infamous check engine light um so um i can feel that the car isn't happy i can feel that there's a misfire there's ever such a slight vibration in the car um so uh yeah what i'm gonna do stop the engine um i'll leave the ignition on but what i do need to do now is obviously read the codes again and see if it's shifted to cylinder six so i'll go through all that and then i'll uh, what i'll do I'll, I'll take a screenshot of it and i'll put it up on the screen for you to uh, to have a look at so i'll catch you in a second okay so that is um the code's red and it's actually pretty good news because what has happened is we've got now misfiring we've shut down cylinder six i don't know if it's going to show on the camera uh, or not whether it just glares but what i'll do i'll take a screenshot of that and i will put it up now so you can have a look at it um and that is a good thing so what we've done there is we basically proved that the coil is the uh, is the problem so all i need to do now jump in the other car head up to bmw hopefully they've got one in stock if they have then i'll grab it come back and we can get it switched out okay so i am back from uh, bmw and i've managed to uh, pick up a uh, another another coil they luckily had one in um let's uh pop it open 
have a look at what we got. So there's obviously, as I said, the the part number. 7841754 and as you can see it's a completely different part number to this one which is 7838388 so yeah again I would have to check double check on rail OEM but I'm pretty confident that that was the previous part number that has since been superseded by this one so what we got in here nicely wrapped in an anti-static bag we'll dump that one down there we don't need that anymore okay There we go. And as you can see, it looks the same as the one that was in cylinder six with these little, I like little, um, like little detents. I think I'm, I don't know whether that's what's holding it in position or not, but, but yeah, um, this should uh, this should be a simple fix. So all I need to do is fit it in, push it all the way home, and then plug it in. Okay, still the old one in it in the static bag. And there we go okay right i know that this is going to fix it so i don't need to worry about um you know testing and everything uh, all i will do now is refit the cover refit the airbox and then uh, reset the coats uh, and everything should be swell so uh, i'll see you inside the car in a couple of minutes okay i'm just connecting my phone to the car and now we will check for issues we will clear anything that comes up, start the engine. Um, hopefully it'll, uh, it'll sound a lot healthier because it won't be misfiring on one of the cylinders. And uh, the, hopefully the code won't come back. So all being well. Okay, Dynamax is completed. And I expect to see cylinder six shut down yet. Yeah. Okay, so we're clear of the issues. Obviously, Carly is pretty, uh, pretty quick and uh, is I'd like call it a quick and dirty fix, um, as opposed to uh, you know using Ista for example, which is um, a lot, uh, a lot more in depth. Um, but already, I can tell that the engine is running so much nicer. There's no vibration through the car, and so far. She's not thrown a code, which is uh, which is good news. We'll check for issues. Yeah, no codes being thrown so far, which is uh, which is excellent news. Okay, what have we got? Right, we've got we have got our code. Um, it's saying generated communication. It's saying it's not a serious fault. I'm not actually sure what that is. I'll look into that. However, we have no misfire codes at all. Um, and that, yeah, that uh, that generator communication um, code zero zero two seven eight D. Um, that's the only code currently um, currently being shown. Everything else is all good. So yeah, happy. Um, I'll look into that one, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Right, stop the car, take the ignition out, uh, the key out the ignition. Right, okay, not a terrible, uh, terribly difficult fix. Pretty straightforward. Um, coils for these cars aren't uh, aren't particularly cheap. 100, 150 pounds, I think. Uh, uh, just you know, a fraction over one hundred and fifty quid, one hundred and fifty pounds, and some pence. Um, that just cost me, um, and that was with, um, you know, a, 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 a tiny discount. There wasn't much of a discount, but there was a little bit. Um, yeah, uh, I, I do know that some people go to the effort of replacing all eight because they've had a failure. I, I think that that's a bit of a false economy because at 150 quid a go times eight, that's quite expensive. And what you're actually doing is probably wasting money because you're effectively throwing away potentially other perfectly serviceable parts just so that you've got eight brand new ones. Um, I do know that people have done that. I've seen it on forums. Um, it, you know, at the end of the day, it's your money, do what you want. But I, uh, I don't see the, uh, uh, you know, the, the economic reasoning behind it. Um, just replace them as they fail. That's that's why it's in. That there, that's one of the reasons that having separate coils is beneficial to having a, a coil pack um, because we, it gives us the opportunity to do that. 
anyway yeah um first video uh, of uh, of many with the uh, with the m3 i've absolutely no doubt uh, hopefully you enjoyed it um i certainly did i enjoy working on this car it's absolute absolute dream um but uh, yeah hopefully uh, i'll see you all again for the next video um don't forget to like subscribe and comment um join me over on the socials facebook instagram and twitter uh, i'll leave the links in the description below um, and i'll leave the part number um for the coil uh, in the in the description as well so you can go and uh, you can go and check that out anyway guys thank you very much for stopping by i'll see you all again very soon take care bye bye now